we are off to a different country within Australia, which we didn't know existed till yesterday. It's called Hutt River and basically some guy in 1970 bought some land and made it its own sort of province, his own province of Hutt, Ri Hutt River. So we are going to the Principality of Hutt River now um, and we've got our visas for four dollars each from the Calvary Visitor Centre. Um, it's just so cool, like I'm well excited. It's just, it's <laughs> the Principality of Hutt River is situated 595 kilometres north of Perth, Western Australia and is about 75 square kilometres in area, consisting of some 18 and a half thousand acres of land. It's an independent sovereign state having seceded from Australia on the 21st day of April 1970 and is comp of comparable size to Hong Kong. Um, so yeah, basically there was this guy, Prince Leonard, um, and he has now passed it on, I think, to his son. Um, there's a government office, a post office, tea room, swimming pool and a chapel. So it's just a bit of a tourist attraction, a bit of a novelty thing, and you can get your passport stamped there. So we're going to go there and stay there tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to check that out. We are in the middle of nowhere. Welcome <laughs> to the Hutt River province. <laughs> this is crazy. So look at this, I guess this is a statue of the Prince. Welcome to the Principality of Hutt River. This is the chapel, and Her Royal Highness is buried there. This be the Prince's wife. And this is basically the rest of the town. This is the uh, Hutt River Province flag, flying high there. Just uh, opposite the government offices and post office there. So we just met the prince and this is the chapel. This is literally <laughs> so cool. There's a prince and princess's chair there. And uh, got the old emblem it's there. Just getting the old passport and the visa ready. We can enter into the uh, government offices. This is the government office. Yeah, okay. All of this art was done by one of the princesses for the stamp. Rock collection. Collection of notes. And this is where you could get knighted and uh, given a medallion. We've just uh, got our Hutt River Province money and has our visas stamped. And also, so had our passport stamped. <laughs> so cool. This is a letter from the Queen <laughs> to Prince Leonard. Righto, so we are now at our campground, which is just around the corner from like the main town with the uh, government build and everything. Prince Graham showed us around and he was lovely and told us all about the history of the place and how it happened and everything. Um, so basically what it was was prince leonard his dad who started the whole thing um this is a still a working sheep and wheat farm and it was something to do with i don't completely understand it fully enough to explain it properly but it was something around the price of wheat and the west australian government i think were trying to sort of do him over a little bit with the price of wheat and he found some legislation um where he thought right i'm just going to be independent from that law so yeah now it's become the principality of hut river and yeah it's an independent sovereign state they've got their own stamps they've got their own currency they don't pay tax it's literally it's such a cool place and it's a highlight of this trip for me because it's just something that i've never seen or i don't know it's so new and it's just it's so cool definitely come here it's not like a massive thing it's not on many like west coast itineraries so I don't know if that many people know about it or people aren't interested, but how can you not be interested? This is the campground too. Um, and shock horror, we are the only ones here. Hide them behind that bush. Yeah, I just, 
I'm all about his face. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I just think it's fascinating. And also, it's, it was five dollars per person for an unpowered camp, which is nothing. There's a shower and a toilet and a barbecue, and you can't have fires because it's a, like after the 15th of October to the 15th of March. It's too dangerous, but there are fire pits. Um, and to get our visas, it was only four dollars per person. So like to come here and camp, it's nine dollars per person, which is nothing to camp in such like a novelty cool place on an actual working farm as well. There's also no phone signal here, forgot to say, which is pretty cool. I quite like it. I quite like not having signal sometimes just it forces you to kind of take in what's around you and appreciate where you are. Um, so yeah, I'd say that's a bonus. So yeah, if you didn't get that, I would highly recommend Hutt River Province um, if you're doing a West Coast trip because it's sick.